Alrighty, hello Emmett. So let's see, you're trying to do a kickflip. That is something already, okay. So as I can see here, you're doing a half of a kickflip. After the pop, you immediately move both of your feet down. That is not correct. That is not how you should do it. Always when we ask you to send us your videos, your skate support submissions, we always ask you to send us your tricks, record your tricks that you already know, that you already can do. And this time, in this particular time, it didn't happen, sadly for me, because when we know what tricks you already can do, it will be easier for me to understand the exact starting point for you where you should start to improve your kickflip, for example. Here, it's gonna be tough. Anyway, let's start with the beginning. To be good at tricks on your skateboard, you need to ride your skateboard really well. It means you need to ride on your skateboard a lot. Like, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. You need to spend a lot of time riding your skateboard. To start to feel yourself really, really comfortable when you're just riding your skateboard. That's first thing. Second thing is solid base for a kickflip is good ollie. So you need to be really good at ollieing. And what I mean is you need to be able to pop properly, you need to be able to only up a curb, only down a curb, only over the board, or probably like a, a hose or 2x4, like, you need to be able to jump over some real obstacle. It shouldn't be like something giant, like a 5 board or something, but at least it should be proper only when you lift off, when you really lift off, like four, all four wheels up. And only after you have really good ollie, only after that, this is the time to start trying your kickflips. Because ollie and kickflip, they have a lot of similar motion, a lot of similar movements. Let's look at this one closely. By the way, Aaron is great at kickflips. So, first thing, pop. Second thing, that flicking motion of a front foot. Third thing, bending your back knee up and then you catch it with your back foot, put your front foot back on the board and land with this a little bent. Let's look at the uh, flicking motion of your front foot really close. So, after the pop, you flick it like this, a bit sideways, not directly forward or backward, like as you saw it here, at the angle, 45 degrees. Another thing I would like to mention, you just need to like keep it in mind, you don't need to understand it, like when you're doing a kickflip, you need to stay above the board all the time. Your whole body needs to do this jumping motion, like a monkey. When you jump, you bend both of your knees. You bend them up. That's how you stay above the board all the time. So do not forget to bend your knees while you're doing a kickflip. After the pop, after the flick, bend your knees up. And let's look at this one more time. Pop, then flick with your front foot. Then you bend your back knee up, catch with your back foot and landing with your both knees a little bent. So don't be hurry, take your time, just remember it takes a lot of practicing. But I have no doubts you can land your kickflip soon. And do not forget to use code skate support to save 50% when you're getting skateboarding made simple. The most detailed video lesson.